I'm gonna show you how to send APRS messages via text or SMS using an APRS to SMS gateway. I've got two radios here. I've got the Kenwood THD72 and I've also got the Yaesu FT5. Both of these are capable of APRS and also APRS messaging. Now being able to send messages from APRS or via the APRS network to SMS or mobile phones is very handy if you're in an area where there's no coverage. I received an email recently from a viewer who said that that's exactly what they were doing. They were gonna go out into uh, the back country where there is not a lot of cell phone or mobile phone service and they wanted to use radio to still communicate with their loved ones at home and this is the perfect way to do it. So this is the website that you need to go to which is aprs.wiki. This is by NA7Q and when you go to the main page here you'll see that there is some information regarding the service. There is an opt-in and opt-out information here which we'll get to shortly. More importantly here the AP APRS supports USA, Puerto Rico, Canada, Australia, and the UK only. Uh, WinLink supports the US and Canada only. So just keep that in mind if you want to use this service. You can also support NA7Q on Patreon, which helps to continue the service and because uh, you know these things aren't free. If you end up getting messages all the time from this service to stop spam because there was a SMS gate service that was running similar to this and there was a lot of spam and stuff, you can simply send stop and you'll stop getting messages. Now, the first thing that you need to get to to use this is you need to opt in. So you need to enter your mobile phone number. Here you've got the option of in the US, Puerto Rico and Canada, it's 10 digits. In Australia, it's 11 digits. And in the UK, it's 12 digits. Now, I'm not sure about the US uh, and other regions. The In Australia, we prefix or oh, start our mobile phone prefixes with 614. It's actually shortened to 04 is the first few digits. But uh, if entering it in here, you need to enter in um, 614, uh, 00, whatever the rest of your number is basically. And then you click this button and click opt in and you'll get a prompt to say that you're now opted into the service. Of course, you can always opt out here. You can pop in your phone number or that phone number that you're going to be texting regularly if it's a loved one and you can opt in and out as, as you need to. So they are the instructions on opting in and out for the phone side of things. Now, as far as the messaging is concerned, here is a bit of a how-to. So you can see here that there is a little bit of a format to go uh, by so to send messages you need to send to sms so you send the message rather than a call sign the call sign is sms and use the following format at number and then uh, a space and put your messages in now uh, you can see here here's a couple of examples at 987654321 space no cell coverage get me on the radio once the message is received to the phone, then the user will see on their phone the call sign of the APRS radio that's sending it with the message. Now, you can also send back the other way. So you can also text from your phone back to APRS. So you can just at the call sign um, as above that you've received it from and enter in the message. So here's another example at WA7BF-3, did you forget your cell phone? Once you receive it, it'll look like this with the, with the phone number that it's come from and the message. Now, once you've replied for the first time with that call sign, then you can continue to send messages without actually having to put the at call sign. However, there is a warning here that it says there is no guarantee that once the system receives it, that it will continue through if it's been updated or restarted. So it's always best to probably just put that destination call sign in the front there. So now there is a couple of issues with this whole setup and it's probably one that you're already thinking about in the uh, in the comments saying what happens when it comes to privacy because we don't want our phone numbers broadcast all over the place on APRS, which is fair enough. So there is an alias management here that you can do. So you can add in a one-time alias so you can SMS once you've opted in, send to SMS, add a new alias, uh, hash alias or pound alias, hash add, pound add, whatever you want to call it, uh, 
put the alias in, so they've used the alias of Bobby and then they've put the uh, number in. You can also remove that alias and then that way when you're sending messages now, you only have to send the alias rather than the number all the time. There's also other stuff here too where you can manually check the missed messages that you've supposedly received or missed on APRS because APRS is kind of a hit and miss type of thing. If you haven't... Uh, if you're not in coverage, it'll just keep sending. It's There's no sort of acknowledgement to say that you've received it or not. So uh, that's also in there. I haven't tried this out. All being said, let's jump in and have a look at this in operation on the radios. So let's give this a go first on the Kenwood THD72. So if I go into messages, you can see here that I've already sent quite a few already. And I've already set up an alias as well for my phone number. So let's go ahead and select message and let's go to sms and we'll go at and i set up my alias as hayden and let's type hello let's type in hello cq Okay, so I ran into a bit of an issue there. My APRS Digipeter was playing up on my bench here, which has been sending my, the messages from my handheld to it and then to the APRS network. So I've got it going again. So let's go and let's send a new message real quick. So there we go. We're sending at Hayden CQDX. Let's send that message out. It gets acknowledged. And provided the APRS network got it, it should come through. And there it is, CQDX. Now I've tried testing messaging back from my phone. Let's just give that a quick try because last time I did it, it didn't seem to work. So let's go at VK7HH-8, testing APRS. And I did send the message it didn't work before and I'm not sure, I did read somewhere that it might be a limitation with this radio and you can see now it's not receiving anything back. So what we might do is we might try this on the FT5 and see how that goes. On the FT5 we go menu and then M list. This brings up the APRS message list. Tap these six boxes here. Let's just choose uh, message list number one. Message edit, edit text and we want to put in at and our alias also this is not my most favorite way of sending messages the ft5 is very painful but i guess if you're in an emergency or you're in a stretch and you really want to do this then you can do this there we go i've just cycled all the way through there i'm going to send ft5d and then we're going to go command button again and edit CS, which is our call sign. So this is where we want to send this to SMS. And now we should be able to press transmit. And we can see that our message went out and there we go, received from the FT5. Okay, let's try messaging back and let's send that and see what happens. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but that's not coming through now. So anyway, there's one way messaging that I've found. Uh, according to the website, two-way messaging is possible. Let me know in the comments though if you think I'm doing something wrong or if you've had issues yourself. Now, if you want the beginner's guide to APRS, then there is a video here which will teach you all the basics.